I almost forgot to turn the volume on. Oh my, well that's quite the way to start. Hey friends, it's Nakano again, and I'm here to read you one of the very last stories for the month of December. This is called, Who Will Help Santa This Year? Of course Santa needs some help. He's a super busy guy, so he's going to look for just the right helpers. This book is written by Jerry Pilato and illustrated by David Beardrecki. I don't think I said that last name right, but I tried really hard. The illustrator is the one who draws the pictures, and the person who is the author is the one who wrote it. So Jerry Pilata actually has books about helping every year. I have one that I like that's about how you get to school at the beginning of the year. And then I also have one that I like for um, Thanksgiving. Miss Maryfield, let me borrow this one because I've never read it before. So this is going to be my first time here listening to the story too. So I'm very excited for us. Let's get started. Who will help Santa this year? I would. If you would too, say I would too. I think that'd be really fun. A lot of excitement and adventure. Oh man, look at, he already looks busy. There's Santa and Mrs. Claus. He's got that big long list of things he's checking off. He's even got two mice to help him. Little tiny in the corner. Miss Maryfield told me that those mice are in every page. I noticed uh, they look very busy as well. There's Santa painting a toy and Mrs. Claus carrying the presents. It looks like he has a lot of help already, but apparently he needs more. The job was too big. I couldn't make all the toys. Look at that's all the mail from all the kids that have written to Santa and asked him for special things. That would be a lot of toys to make. Look at I see the surprise face from Mrs. Claus. Show me your surprise face. Not bad. I'll show you mine. <gasps> yeah, pretty surprising. Oh, and it says Santa's workshop up there. I had a workshop and plenty of great tools. It was time to look for helpers. I think Santa should have come to the classroom because if there's one thing I know about kindergartners is that they're all helpers. Everybody loves to help. He should just hire kindergartners. It says helpers wanted and there. Here's all the different uh, tools that are in there. Oh, and I see the little mice. They're doing snow angels back there. So cute. Love it. <gasps> His first helpers <gasps> are dragons. Let's see. I tried dragons. Ah, 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 achoo. The toys got cooked. Oh, look at it. He feels so bad, though. He doesn't mean to, but when dragons sneeze, just in case you didn't notice, fire out their nose. Lots of it. Not going to work so well in the Santa's tool shop. Look at this. Poor Santa. He is singed. He got a little bit burnt there. Not a whole lot singed. Just like so. Okay. So, um, that is not very nice. That mouse is laughing. And this mouse is getting fireproof tissues, which is actually very kind and caring. I like that a lot. Yeah, and look at all the other dinosaurs are like, oh man, he blew it for us. And the other one was like, I'm sorry, get it? Blue, <laughs> blue like you blew your nose. Blue like you messed it up. So funny. Let's find out who he tries next. Oh, look at it. fairies. I tried fairies. What a mess. They love glitter everywhere. Hmm. And we know there's no glittering. Not in kindergarten. Look at she's chewing it on him. She's going like this. Wouldn't that be fun? I would love it if glitter followed me everywhere. Just like a huge glitter explosion and everybody knew how magical I was. That would be actually pretty cool. If you would do that too, show me. If you don't want that, show me this. No, not me. Okay, anybody who's doing not me, I call dibs. I will officially take all your glitter. You can have all 
of my cooked carrots because I don't like cooked carrots. So we'll trade. Hopefully you like cooked carrots. Okay. So there they are. Oh, and look at the little mice are angels too. That's really cute. <laughs> Bigfoot was a gigantic mistake. Only his big toe could fit through the door. And that's not very helpful. Just a big toe helping out. Not so much. He is. Gigantic is another word for really, really big. That's what he is. Oh, and look, the mice have a tape measure. They're measuring how big the door is to see if he can get his big toe in. Maybe they need a bigger house. I tried mummies. Not like mummies, like you have a mama and a dad. But mummies are, are these things from Halloween. I tried mummies. They were only good at wrapping. They wrapped up the teddy bear like a mummy. They wrapped up a, maybe a robot with the mummy. They're ta oh my goodness, they're taking the wrapping from another mummy to wrap a present. That might not work out so well. You only have so many band-aids if you're a mummy. Once those run out, I don't think I want to see what's underneath. That might be a problem. I see, oh, there's one of the mice and the other mouse. It got wound up in the wrapping. That's funny. I had good luck with leprechauns, but they ran away to chase rainbows. Oh, look at all the clouds are shamrocks. That's the other name for four-leaf clovers. And oh, there's even a little mouse leprechaun there that's getting chased by the mouse. There they are. Leprechauns are magical creatures that some people believe in that on St. Patrick's Day, if you can catch them, you get the riches. Mm -hmm. And their treasure is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Just like Lucky Charms, the cereal. I tried garden gnomes. Hey, kids. Kids like toys, not Brussels sprouts. Oh, the garden gnomes brought everything from the garden. I get it. I was thinking like Gnomeo and Juliet. Okay, they've got all of these different fruits and vegetables. Oh, and there's the mice right there on the window, smushed in there by all the vegetables. Remember, if you were a kid who does not like glitter, we're trading for cooked carrots. I'm calling you up here. I'm thinking these garden gnomes probably got carrots and Mrs. Claus is probably going to cook them. That's you. All you. I've got your glitter. I hired mermaids, and the fishing was good, but oh no, the toys got soaked, so wet. Oh, because they made all the toys underwater. He's having to go fish for them. Look at the wet teddy bears, and they even have the swim masks on. I was looking over here, and I see that the mice are riding seahorse, but then I saw this crab, and that crab's actually from the Thanksgiving who will carve the turkey connections. Aliens were only interested in making spaceships and funny noises. Me, me. And they had never heard of Christmas. Hmm. That's not very helpful. Look at Mrs. Claus is getting grumpy. She got out the broom. She didn't get him. Yeah. And Santa's like, ho, 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 no, UFO. Maybe you shouldn't have talked to the aliens. See? Look at the mice. They're driving the UFO, too. Pretty cool. I tried unicorns. Uh-oh. Hooves. They couldn't hold the to uh, tools. No opposable thumbs. So when Santa says, who has two thumbs and likes Christmas? They can't say, this unicorn. Bummer. Yeah, they're trying to hold it in there. That, oh dear, that that is a lot of things going on there. And none of them look like accurate toy making. And look at... I see the mice are riding on a unicorn into the sunset. Mm, so sweet. Wizards wanted to help. <gasps> Poof! They turned Santa into a frog! Well, that's going to be hard to, to deliver toys with. Look at how surprised the mice are. Oh my. Whew, hopefully those wizards turn him back. Elves came looking for work, and they had great advice. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss him, they said to Mrs. Claus. Look at this kind of plant is called mistletoe, and it's a tradition that if you go underneath it with somebody else, that you have to kiss them. 
Satan. I agree. Gross. Okay, so there's Mrs. Claus, and she's smooching Santa, who's still a frog. And look at the mice are helping hold the mistletoe. Blech! Kisses! Gross! Did you see that? She does in his underpants. Oh no. Okay, we've got to read the words. Underpants. He put his pants. Oof. A Christmas kiss brought me back. Let's hire the elves, said Mrs. Claus. I hope the first thing they do is make up some pants. Elves were exactly what my workshop needed. They became happy, hardworking helpers. <sighs> happy, <sighs> hardworking <sighs> helpers. They all start the same way. Like our honey horse. <sighs> With that <sighs> sound. <laughs> Look at that. They're all working away. Oh, my goodness. And these mice are dancing, doing like the cha-cha or the tango or the merengue. Nobody leaves the baby on the corner. Now that the toys are made, we can all go on vacation. Cowabunga. There's the mice. And I noticed my favorite animals even made an appearance. Sharks. And they're so festive with their little Santa hats on. Oh. The end. Wow, another great book by Jerry Pilata. I really do love his series that talks about who will help. Thank you, kids. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas books. We're almost done with all our Christmas books, so tune in and you may see more. Until then, keep on working hard, and I'll see you next time. Bye.